Hello and welcome to a EverQuest guide on a level 95 bard here. Um, this is a very boxing probably focused bard setup and uh, there might be information in this video that may not, <laughs> you know, if you don't box a bard it might not pertain to you, but there might be something. So just a heads up on that. So. Uh, this is a Nilv, my bard I box with uh, Tawani and Kedka. And uh, for the most part, uh, this is a pure boxing bard. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's not much to it. And I'll kind of go over uh, some of the stuff here and, uh, you know, what spells I have memorized over here and whatnot. So I'll just go through, you know, by bar by bar, really. Uh, so I got Sil Silo Sonata. Is my number one key. I hit this uh, every time I hit one on uh, Tawani. Uh, she does solos, which is where is it? Right here. Solos of Sandrando uh, makes you run really fast. <laughs> uh, it's great. So, all right. So, I don't have anything else. So, like, you know, when I showed the monk and I showed the shaman, I have spam buttons on them. Uh, for two through five, I don't have any spam buttons for the bard. That is because the bard can do crowd control, and if I'm spamming attack and all that stuff, the bar that's going to mess up crowd control. So I don't have anything there. But instead, I have three assist macros up here. So when I hit numpad one on my mouse, I'll target the whatever you know, whatever we're fighting. Right? All my characters have the same uh, extended target setup. Tawani one, Nilv two. Cut get three, and then the target is four. So I turn attack on, I turn Merc assist on, I alt activate 37, 3704. I don't even remember what that one was. Um, oh, that's solos. <laughs> so I have solos on my uh, assist macro for some reason. I don't know why. Probably shouldn't be there. Um, and that will just make her start attacking. And uh, Bard Melee, uh, you can kind of see over start attacking. It's not too bad. Uh, you know, 1,000, 4,500. 4, uh, the, the Shaman was doing, you know, uh, 200, <laughs> 250. So it's a very high range on the uh, Bard Melee. So not exactly uh, a lot, but uh, we'll get into that here in a second. I do have an auto skill. Uh, where is that window? Kick is the only thing we can auto skill, so that'll she'll just automatically kick uh, on cooldown. All right, and then uh, combat AAs. So these are all the uh, short duration uh, combat based AAs that I use. Uh, so uh, cacophony. Uh, bladed song and boast of bellow that just does puts out a lot of damage really quick we'll use those here in a minute and then i just have the assist button here again so if i hit uh that corresponds to how i have uh the other characters right so the shaman has slow on three and the uh the the monk <laughs> that's my pull ability so I'll either turn on assist, which on the bard, where's the bard? Right here, the bard, when I do that, she just she just turns on attack. Nothing really fancy, just targets the mob and turns on attack. So uh, I don't have to slow. So if I don't want to slow a mob, I just, I hit one. If I want to slow it, I hit three and she'll assist and bard and the sham will do something. And then... And then for uh, Mezzing, I have uh, uh, X-Tar 5, which will be the next mob. So the mob I'm fighting will be X-Tar 4. Any other mobs will be uh, all the way down, right? So I have X-Tar 5 Mez, which just stops singing, stop all songs, target the, the new mob, right? And pause <laughs> for 5, because there's, there's a little delay in some of this, right? Uh, but... A little mini pause and then cast 12 which is a uh, slumber of Colan, Colan uh, which just can mez up to 98 and uh, just a single target mez we can uh, can't really demonstrate it here but 
it does that and I also turn off attack so that's why I don't have any things up here because I want attack off I want her to just solely be focused on mezzing when that becomes thing so she pretty much targets that mob and just constantly casts uh that song on there so it's just uh I think this thing's immune but it'll just be like that and when I see the little uh, musical notes on their head I know it's mezzed so and then the same thing for six uh x target six and then I have another one here for AOE mez at about 85 I believe uh bards get AOE mez which is the wave of the this one's conductor I think the last one was uh, slumber or something like that and this will mez uh, up to six targets uh, for 30 seconds. This has a long reuse time, right? I think it's literally 30 seconds. Let's see here. So we cast it. And... Doesn't show me the reuse. There it is. Uh, 24 seconds. So it's, it's, it's probably about 30 seconds. So you can't really keep them locked down 100%, but you can do a pretty good job at it. And usually within 30 seconds, I've I've usually killed <laughs> at least one or two of the mobs. And uh, it gives me enough time to either switch to single target mez or just fight it out, right? So it's really useful <laughs> for the bard to have that kind of just blanket uh, stop all the fighting and we can figure things out kind of moment. Then I have my insignia uh, for the fellowship and then I have my my stein and my two guild te teleport uh, tokens and then the uh, throne plus origin and then my follow button is pretty standard for all my characters uh, stand target you know whoever number one is follow them and then alt act cellos and then invite to uh, this will let this lets me do uh, auto joining the group easier Tawani will invite everybody and then they will invite Tawani back and then it just joins the group. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, let's see here. Melody Rest. This is my... Uh, we're not in combat and I just want to get mana, <laughs> mana back, right? And I don't want to worry about anything else. So I just cast this, which is 5 and 7. So here's 5 and 7. So 5 is Chorus of Luna. Uh, just, you know, mana song. Health mana everybody nearby i think this is point blank aoe chorus so it does everybody even if you're not in the group and then the lively crescendo uh it just it's kind of a weird i don't know how to explain it it, it builds over time and then uh when the t the timer ticks down it will give you a rush of mana and regen and endurance uh so it's kind of nice but uh, it's like a 30 second uh, tick down timer. I don't see it on my bar right now. It might be because I'm in this uh, buff stone expire guild hall. Uh, but yeah, it's a good spell. Just keep them all going. That's my rest macro. And my combat melody. Yeah, here we go. So this is what I cast uh, pretty much when I'm not mezzing. And I'm doing combat, so... Let's just look here. So it's one, two, three, four, uh, and then back to one, four, and then eight. <laughs> it's it's just a mess. <laughs> it's a real mess. Uh, so typically these buffs have a 24 second duration, and depending on your AAs and all that stuff, you can, might get it up a little bit more, but for the most part, 24 seconds is your time. So I have different spells that I can do different things. So uh, the first one, Aria of the Orator. So it increases the damage of everybody else. So increases Tuwani's damage and uh, Kekka's damage. Uh, let's see here. And then increases the speed uh, by 25% and the chance to flurry. So all around good spell. And then uh, right after that we do... Uh, arcane address which just adds a proc damage to our damage so we do more damage and then war march war march of illidaria uh this will give us 60 percent haste which we don't need it gives us a little bit of strength it gives us 110 attack and a 77 point damage shield uh, now the haste we get from the shaman already 
So we already have 50% uh, haste there. So we're, we're pretty much haste capped uh, when it comes to uh, haste. So that's not a, something I consider when I'm looking at spells. Uh, then we do uh, Spry Sonata at uh, the fourth spell. Let's see here. This one uh, increases armor class, resistance, and uh, reduced damage shield on offhand attacks. So this kind of just buffs Tawani a little bit so she gets a little bit more armor class. Pretty much everybody in the group gets it, but mostly for Tawani. And then, uh, let's see here. Then I go back to one for Arya again, and then I go into uh, Song of Suffering, which just gives more strikes, uh, more procs on our strikes. And then five, which is the Regen Song. Just throw it in there, probably don't need it. And then, let's see here, two back to address, refreshes that, and then three refreshes haste, four for Sonata, and then eight, and it just keeps going on and on. The only other one out of there, it puts the crescendo in there at some point. And it just it cycles through those, keeping them all refreshed and whatnot. So if we go ahead and click it right here, so it'll do chorus. Crescendo and chorus again. What? <laughs> Did I click the wrong one? <laughs> there we go. Ari of the Order, uh, Arcane Address, War March, and it just kind of gets them going, right? So we're in, uh, we're in the Guild Lobby, right, or the Guild Hall. So none of these buffs will expire, but you can kind of see the timers here, like 28 seconds is kind of where we're at and then we get song of suffering so three hits right here uh they do extra damage so if we go over to tawani right because this is what we're buffing right so so if you can see she's haste capped at uh, 225 right now so if we go over here and go to spell damage and i just turn on attack Guidance in there. So the Ar Arcane Address does 400 points of damage. And Song of Suffering does 5,300. I believe. So, kind of see where that damage comes in. It's easier to show on the, <laughs> the monk. <laughs> Alright, so that's just my, my melody I have going at all times, right? So. Let's see here, that's about all of that. I use a DPS mercenary on her. And uh, pretty much I just turn on the attack unless I have to mess like so. And you can kind of see here, like we'll just let it go for a second. She's got her, the combat thing going. Uh, I will leave the mercenary off so she doesn't do it. But we have a uh, talisman in, or not talisman. <laughs> I think it's called talisman, right? Am I saying that wrong? Talisman of... Yeah, Talisman of the Lion from the Shaman. Which is the proc buff uh, that Shamans give. And you can kind of see... You know, like how many procs this, this class has going on for it right now. It's just like a constant... <laughs> almost, uh, you know, not spamming quite, say, but you can just see how much damage she's doing. And then... Where's my log parser right here? So if we bring in the log parser, we can kind of see. Here, let's do this. Let's get Tawani fighting this one. All right. There we go. And let's pull back up the here, let's turn off attack so that combat kind of finishes. Uh, the whole point of the bard is to buff the other characters, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. My phone just keeps bleeping. All right, so you can see, you know, in that fight right here uh, on that combat dummy, 
the the majority of damage obviously is uh, Tawani, but you can see here that Nilv was kind of you know keeping up with it somewhat, and that's with all the procs and all that. Like you know, she had some pretty big hits, and I didn't use any of my combat abilities, which have pretty cool, uh, pretty low cooldowns. So if we go over here and hit it again, right? And I'm gonna hit my uh, combat ability AA. There we go, and then just all those start proccing on there. And that should be a lot more damage. There we go, like 3,000 over there. You're just a little bit more, and we're not even using burns. I didn't even cover those yet, <laughs> so I just let this play out for a few more seconds. All right, so we pull that off, go here, go back to the combat dummy here now. She did, you know, 600 damage in that short amount of time. The max hit of 308,000. So definitely not shy on the DPS, right? Like, it's it's not as great as, you know, what Tawani can do. But it's nothing to laugh at. It's more than a mercenary, for sure. So definitely, uh, you know, 20k DPS at this level is pretty good. But, uh, yeah. So, and then for burns, I have... Uh, I have Fierce Eye, Quick Time, and Lyrical Prank. If we go here to this, we can see that uh, Quick Time, uh, all group members gain you know, 1,000 attack power and 79% accuracy, and the weapon delay goes down. So two minutes of that buff, right? And then uh, Fierce Eye right here. Uh, all group members in 20 foot radius gain 20% damage, right? And then uh, critical uh, melee damage by 20%, trigger your weapons, magical effects by 300%, and it's just crazy. And then Lyrical Prankster summons some uh, level 86 doppelgangers to uh, distract the target. So nothing really fancy there. Uh, Funeral Dirge is another one. So this one just... Increases the uh, damage your target takes from melee attacks by 18% for a minute. Pretty nice. And does 15,000 15, damage when it ends. And then Cacophony, or however you say that, deals 2,500 damage, then 30,000 damage every 6 seconds for a minute. Frenzied Kicks. Uh, reduce the reduce time on your kick by... Three seconds but i don't have that one yet so i don't even know why i put it there <laughs> dance of blades uh is just a uh, better chance to do a wheel double attack so it just really increases our damage there and then i guess i have disc 1000 blades for some reason in there i don't know why thousand blades uh Increases your melee accuracy and your chance to deal critical damage by 5% and 200% non-cumulative increased damage for your melee attacks for one minute. So just increase, just lots of damage increase right there. Uh, and then a lot of these are group wise, so they help the, the monk and they help the shaman pets and the mercenary right here. Uh, I'm not going to cover any solo uh, kind of abilities because I don't play this character solo. Uh, I have a heroic level 100 guide coming out and that's going to be a solo guide. So that one will have that. But for the most part, that's how I play the bard. I mean, it's fairly simple. There's not much to it. She auto follows Tuwani and Tuwani kills things. And the buffs she provides keep her all buffed up. So... There's not much to it other than that. I might have missed some things here and there, but uh, most part, that's what I do. I'll do another one of these updates about uh, level 100 or 105, uh, just to kind of show what has changed since then. But uh, so far, you know, it's pretty standard uh, bard stuff. But uh, thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day.